Hi, I'm Claudia. Happy New Year to you all. Today, we're going to make a very nice, easy bread that has amazing results. And we're also going to make a roasted peppers and aubergine dip that goes very nicely with it. But first, I'm going to wash my hands. Excellent. So we're going to combine to make two recipes at the same time um, next to each other. We're going to start with the ingredients for the bread. In total, we need 450 grams of flour. You could use all um, white flour or you can mix it with brown. We're going to do a little mix. So ideally for the white flour, you use strong flour, but it works quite well with plain as well if you don't have the strong one. We've got 350 grams of strong white flour here. We've got 100 grams of wholemeal flour, two teaspoons of fast acting yeast, two teaspoons of salt, 375 milliliters of warm water. So it needs to feel warm to the touch, but not hot. And we've got a cast iron pan. If you don't have one, it doesn't matter that much. There's another way of doing it, but I will explain. The reason we use the cast iron pan is because when we put the bread in here and we cover it, it creates steam and it will give the bread a very nice crunchy crust. If you don't have this, what we can do is put a tray inside the oven, keep it very, very hot while you're, while you're preheating the oven. And then just before you put the bread in, pour some water in and close it quickly. So you'll, you'll trap the steam into the oven as well. And it will have more or less the same effect. So for now, we're going to start by preheating the oven to 230 degrees. All right, and for the dip, which is also very simple, we need four roasted peppers from the jar. Pick the bigger ones. We need a roasted aubergine. The way I roasted this is very simple. You um, get the aubergine, prick it with a, with a knife or a fork just so it doesn't explode and put it in the oven for half an hour at about 200 degrees. Then we need one spring onion, two garlic cloves, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, and then to season, we have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of cayenne pepper or chili flakes, whatever you like to spice it up with. something like this, nice and sticky. So once we've got the consistency right, we're gonna scrape everything down from the edges. We need to cover the bowl with clean film or a shower cap and leave it to rest for um, more or less two hours until it doubles in size. Meanwhile though, we are going to put our cast iron pot into the oven so it gets nice and hot as well. So while our dough is rising, we're going to prepare our dip. All we have to do is chop up our ingredients, put them in a bowl and blend them. So we'll start with the peppers. Now we're ready to blend it. You can use a hand, you can use a hand blender or you could use um, one of the stand-up blenders, any way to blend it. Even if you don't have one, you could mash it with a fork, but then it's better if you chopped everything up a bit more than I did. Give 
give it a little taste. Mm. Perfect. And from here, you then adjust with salt, pepper, or lemon to your liking. This one is perfect, just like this. Okay, so now we've done our dip. We go back to continuing with our bread. Here's a dough that I've been that I've had resting for two hours. This is what you're expecting to see. So you want it to be double in size. You want to see all those bubbles at the top, and you want to see that it wobbles like this. Then we will also need a bit of baking paper, a little bit of flour that we'll sprinkle on the baking paper, a little bit on the sides of the bowl. And then with a spatula or a scraper, just bring it down. Going to sprinkle a little bit of flour over the top, but it's not necessary. This just makes it look look a bit more rustic when it comes out of the oven. So what we need to do now is get our Dutch oven from the oven, bring it here, put it in, and bring it back into the oven. This goes in to seal the air, so the steam does its job, and it goes in the oven for 30 minutes with the lid on and then for another 12 to 15 with the lid off. If you didn't use a Dutch oven, you only had the bread on a tray and then you put on a tray or on a baking tin and then you put another tray underneath with water for the steam, then you'd leave it in the oven for a straight 40 minutes. Okay, so we've had our bread in the oven with the lid on for 30 minutes without the lid on for another 12. And let's see what's happened. Wow, look at this. And let it cool for at least half an hour before you cut into it. Otherwise, you'll squash the crumb. Brilliant, the moment of truth now. Let's move it over to a tray. And we're going to cut right through it. Listen to the crunchiness of the crust and look what it looks like inside. Wow. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Let me show you. Oh, nice soft dough. So, just going to try to cut a little bit of the end. Not the best knife, like you can see. There we go. A little bit of butter here. The bread is still warm. Look at these bubbles, beautiful. A little bit of our amazing dip. Let's try it. Mmm. So nice.